to be recording my wash regimen. Uh, so now to start off, I'm just gonna, before I section my hair, um, I'm gonna be using a protein treatment that I made. It includes uh, eggs, olive oil, um, yogurt, and some like conditioner that I was trying to get rid of. Just because my hair is colored, so I want to make sure that I give back the protein to my hair. So now I'm just sectioning my hair using my clips. And those are the four sections. So I'm going to start with this section. I'm just going to show you guys this one and then speed up the video. So I'm just going to section it off and then I'm going to start to apply the mixture that I've made. So now that I'm done with that section, uh, this is just <clears throat> showing you that I'm finished the whole, all of my hair. So I take out the clips and now I'm just going to get ready to deep condition. Um, when I deep condition, I just uh, use a heat cap. So I cover, I'll show you that I'll be covering my hair with plastic caps. Um, and then after that, I'm just going to put on my heat cap and just sit under the hooded dryer not hooded dryer the <laughs> the heat cap for about 20 minutes the ideal time i would say to sit under the heat cap or hooded dryer or whatever you use i would say uh about 30 minutes would do it and if you don't have a, a heat cap or a hooded dryer you can always just cover your hair with a scarf after you apply the cap um and then just do some errands around the house and just let the conditioner penetrate. And I'm watching a movie <laughs> while I'm waiting and doing my hair. So now that the uh, deep conditioning's done, I'm just gonna take the cap out uh, and we're gonna get ready to do our tea tree oil rinse. So I'm just gonna quickly explain um, the reason why I choose to do a tea tree oil mi um, treatment. I find that it's it's a lot better than apple cider vinegar 
um, because of the smell is more pleasant. Um, I'm not saying that the the benefits are any better, but it does help to take build up build up off of the scalp and residue from the hair. So I mean, it 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 kind of works to do the same thing as apple cider vinegar. So that's why I prefer to use it, and it's just a lot easier for me and more convenient. Um, I found that using apple cider vinegar, it just it would make I would I would uh, apply it to like a spray bottle and mix it with water and it would really make my bottle smell and I didn't like the smell so as an alternative I've um, vouched for tea tree oil so what I'm just doing now is just uh, I finished applying it to my scalp and now I'm just rubbing it in and then I'm gonna apply it to the rest of my hair And just make sure I rub it in because I wanna, I wanted to do a thorough job in getting rid of the egg treatment. So then next, I just rinsed it out with cool water, and cool water is good to you because it it forces the cuticles of your hair shut. So so this is it dry. Shrinkage is real, people you have afro textured hair shrinkage is real and I just have to live with it I don't fight it anymore so now I'm just showing you that there's no more of the egg product or treatment in my hair the tea tree oil did a really good job in um, removing it I'm very happy there's, there's a bit of flakes in it but that will go away later so now I'm gonna I follow up the tea tree rinse with a co-wash and an oil rinse. So that's just a cheapy conditioner that I got. I yeah I'm trying to get rid of it. So um, I would advise using like something like Shea Moisture. They have a good co-wash product and or Herbal Essence. I had a bad experience with Herbal Essence, so I don't use it anymore. So now I'm just applying the conditioner to the rest of my hair. And uh, the oil that I use is just a mixture of coconut oil and olive oil. Um, coconut oil, is, uh, I find, makes my hair really sh shiny. Um, uh, and I, I mix it with the olive oil because it keeps it from uh, hardening. Because if you keep the coconut oil exposed in like a cool temperature, it tends to um, solidify. So I like to mix it with the olive oil just to keep it at bay. Next, I just massage my my scalp. Massaging the scalp's good because it promotes hair growth. And it just feels nice. So now I'm just going to move on to the detangling process. So here I am again, just in my room now. I'm just going to remove the t-shirt. yeah and now I'm gonna section my hair oh yeah I'm just showing you the product so that's that was castor oil and that's trust me um, a trust me conditioner and a spray bottle if you want details of the products I'll just include them in the description bar so just let me know in the comments if you want a full description of the products I use and then I'll just put in the description bar but yeah so now I'm just gonna section the hair so it's easier to to manage and I section my hair in four sections I'll show you the back there's the back and I'm just applying the castor oil to my scalp I really love castor oil for the winter um, it leaves my scalp really moisturized um, and I used to use coconut oil in the summer um, or I usually use coconut oil in the summer because I find that's a good product to use then. So now I'm just going to break down that section into a smaller section and I'm just applying the castor oil again to my scalp. And then I'm going to apply the, the, what do you call it? Tresemme Naturals. Tre not Tresemme Naturals. Tresemme Moisture Rich Conditioner. I don't know. I'm sorry. I forgot the name of the conditioner, but I'll leave the it in the description box if you want to know. And I saw a funny part in the movie that I'm watching, so I'm just giggling there. So 
there they are. Now I'm gonna just take that big bottle and I'm gonna get a <laughs> try to <laughs> try to get the uh, conditioner on my hand. So yeah, just a big glop and saturate the hair. I'm doing a bit of finger detangling before I use the comb because honestly guys my hair right now is so sensitive oh my god I don't know what that was I don't what I don't know what I'm doing right now I am acting crazy but uh <laughs> yeah so I apply the castor oil to my ends because my ends I'm finding that if I don't moisturize them thoroughly they just snap and I believe it's because of the dry um temperatures now like in Toronto Canada it's the gosh we just had a snowstorm the other day and it is ridiculous it's really cold so I've been protective styling and I've um, just trying to keep my hair away from the dry air so I have to like make sure I follow up with an with castor oil on my ends so I'm just detangling now and then I'm gonna get ready to twist the sections of my hair So yeah, now I'm gonna break it down into a smaller section and twist, 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 and twist, and laugh, and twist, and laugh. And I keep twisting. And this is the last big section of the first section. And guys, make sure you're handling your hair with care and patience and love. And just like I'm doing, watch a movie, relax, make this like your spa treatment <laughs> for the week. And it's It looks like I'm being rough just because it's fast, but I'm actually being quite gentle um, with my ends, especially like... So I start, I go from ends to root. And I keep twisting. And we're all done guys so that's the back and i'll show you some pictures take care stay blessed